Are you going any place this year? If I have enough money, I'm going to take a trip abroad. How are you going? Are you going by boat? It's faster to go by plane than by boat. What's the quickest way to get there? Altogether, it will take ten days to make the trip. I hope you have a good time on your trip. I'm leaving tomorrow, but I haven't packed my suitcases yet. I'm going by air. I like flying. My brother took a trip to Mexico. It was a six-hour flight. How many passengers were on the train? His friend was injured in an airplane crash. Would you like to go for a walk? Let's go out to the airport. The plane landed ten minutes ago. I'm going shopping because I need to buy some clothes. If this shirt doesn't fit, may I bring it back later? What size shoes do you wear? That suit looks very good on you. This dress is made of silk, isn't it? I'd like to try on the sweater. I'm interested in buying a new car. What's the price of that electric iron? How much is this rug? Is this toothpaste on sale today? That's a beautiful leather wallet, but it costs too much. How much do I owe you? That will be eighteen dollars and seventy-five cents. Do you have change for a twenty-dollar bill? The clerk helped me find what I wanted. What would you like to eat? I'd like a bowl of tomato soup, please. The waiter seems to be in a hurry to take our order. Which would you rather have, steak or fish? I want my steak well done. What kinds of vegetables do you have? I'll have mashed potatoes and green beans. Would you please pass the salt? They serve good food in this restaurant. Are you ready for your dessert now? This knife is dirty. Would you bring me a clean one, please? May I have the check, please? You have your choice of three flavors of ice cream. We have vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry. We invited two guests to dinner, but they didn't come. How long did the movie last? The feature started at nine o'clock and ended at eleven thirty. They say the new film is an adventure story. A group of us went out to the theater last night. The new play was good, and everybody enjoyed it. By the time we got there, the play had already begun. The usher showed us to our seats. The cast of the play included a famous actor. After the play was over, we all wanted to get something to eat. There was a big crowd, and we had difficulty getting a taxi. The restaurant was filled, so we decided to go elsewhere. My brother wants to learn how to dance. We don't go dancing very often. Which would you rather do, go dancing or go to a play? I'm not accustomed to going out after dark. I'd like to make an appointment to see Mr. Cooper. Would you like to arrange for a personal interview? Your appointment will be next Thursday at ten o'clock. I can come any day except Thursday. He wants to change his appointment from Monday to Wednesday. She failed to call the office to cancel her appointment. I'm going to call the employment agency for a job. Please fill in this application form. Are you looking for a permanent position? I'm going to call a plumber to come this afternoon. I couldn't keep the appointment because I was sick. I'm a new employee. I was hired yesterday. Please call before you come; otherwise, we might not be home. Let's make a date to go shopping next Thursday. Will you please lock the door when you leave? I went to see my doctor for a checkup yesterday. The doctor discovered that I'm a little overweight. He gave me a chest X-ray and took my blood pressure. He told me to take these pills every four hours. Do you think the patient can be cured? They operated on him last night. He needed a blood transfusion. My uncle had a heart attack last year. They had to call in a heart specialist. 
What did the doctor say? The doctor advised me to get plenty of exercise. The doctor said I looked pale. If I want to be healthy, I have to stop smoking cigarettes. The physician said smoking is harmful to my health. It's just a mosquito bite. There's nothing to worry about. You're wanted on the telephone. What number should I dial to get the operator? I want to make a long-distance call. Pick up the receiver and deposit a coin in the slot. I tried to call Mr. Cooper, but the line was busy. You must have dialed the wrong number. I dialed the right number, but nobody answered. The telephone is ringing. Would you answer it, please? Would you like to leave a message? Who is this? I don't recognize your voice. Would you please tell Mr. Cooper I called? Is this Empire 54093? I have to hang up now. Put the receiver closer to your mouth. I can't hear you. Would you mind calling back sometime tomorrow? How long has it been since you've heard from your uncle? When was the last time he wrote you? I can't recall how long it's been. I'm always disappointed when I don't get any mail. I feel guilty because I haven't written her lately. What time is the mail delivered on Saturday? The postman always comes at two o'clock. I wrote to my uncle last night. I couldn't put it off any longer. I enclosed some photographs in my letter. I didn't know whether to send the letter airmail or not. How long does it take for a letter to get to California? Don't forget to put stamps on the letter before you mail it. He went to the post office to mail a letter. I dropped the letter in the mailbox on the corner. How did you sign the letter? Did you write sincerely yours? Telling about past experiences. A strange thing happened to me this morning. I was crossing the street and was almost hit by a car. Fortunately, I jumped back in time to avoid being hit. It was a terrible experience, and I won't forget it. Yesterday was such a beautiful day, we decided to go for a drive. We prepared a picnic lunch and drove down by the river. After a while, we found a shady place under some poplar trees. On the way back home, we had a flat tire. It was after dark when we got back, and we were all tired. I wish you would give me a more detailed description of your trip. Speaking of trips, did I ever tell you about the experience I had? We used to have a lot of fun when we were that age. I can't recall the exact circumstances. I never realized that someday I would be living in New York. We never imagined that John would become a doctor. We were looking for a house to rent for the summer. Are you trying to find a furnished house? This split-level house is for rent. It's a bargain. That house is for sale. It has central heating. We have a few kitchen things and a dining room set. This is an interesting floor plan. Please show me the basement. The roof has leaks in it, and the front steps need to be fixed. We've got to get a bed and a dresser for the bedroom. Does the back door have a lock on it? They've already turned on the electricity. The house is ready. I'm worried about the appearance of the floor. I need to wax it. If you want a towel, look in the linen closet. What style furniture do you have? Is it traditional? We have drapes for the living room, but we need kitchen curtains. The house needs painting. It's in bad condition. What are you going to wear today? I'm going to wear my blue suit. Is that all right? I have two suits to send to the cleaners. I have some shirts to send to the laundry. You ought to have that coat cleaned and pressed. I've got to get this shirt washed and ironed. All my suits are dirty. I don't have anything to wear. You'd better wear a light jacket. It's chilly today. This dress doesn't fit me anymore. I guess I've outgrown this pair of trousers. These shoes are worn out. 
They've lasted a long time. I can't fasten this collar button. Why don't you get dressed now? Put on your work clothes. My brother came in, changed his clothes, and went out again. I didn't notice you were wearing your new hat. You have your point of view, and I have mine. You approach it in a different way than I do. I won't argue with you, but I think you're being unfair. That's a liberal point of view. He seems to have a lot of strange ideas. I don't see any point in discussing the question any further. What alternatives do I have? Everyone is entitled to his own opinion. There are always two sides to everything. We have opposite views on this. Please forgive me. I didn't mean to start an argument. I must know your opinion. Do you agree with me? What point are you trying to make? Our views are not so far apart, after all. We should be able to resolve our differences. If it doesn't rain tomorrow, I think I'll go shopping. There's a possibility we'll go, but it all depends on the weather. If I have time tomorrow, I think I'll get a haircut. I hope I remember to ask the barber not to cut my hair too short. My son wants to be a policeman when he grows up. If I get my work finished in time, I'll leave for New York Monday. Suppose you couldn't go on the trip. How would you feel? What would you say if I told you I couldn't go with you? If I buy that car, I'll have to borrow some money. If I went with you, I'd have to be back by six o'clock. One of these days, I'd like to take a vacation. As soon as I can, I'm going to change jobs. There's a chance he won't be able to be home for Christmas. We may be able to help you in some way. If you were to attend the banquet, what would you wear? What would you have done last night if you hadn't had to study? I would have gone on the picnic if it hadn't rained. If you had gotten up earlier, you would have had time for breakfast. If I had had time, I would have called you. Would he have seen you if you hadn't waved to him? If he had only had enough money, he would have bought that house. I wish you had called me back the next day as I had asked you to. If you hadn't slipped and fallen, you wouldn't have broken your leg. If I had known you wanted to go, I would have called you. Had I known you didn't have a key, I wouldn't have locked the door. She would have gone with me, but she didn't have time. If I had asked for directions, I wouldn't have gotten lost. Even if we could have taken a vacation, we might not have wanted to. Everything would have been all right if you hadn't said that. Looking back on it, I wish we hadn't given in so easily. What is it you don't like about winter weather? I don't like it when the weather gets real cold. I can't stand summer weather. The thing I don't like about driving is all the traffic on the road. He doesn't like the idea of going to bed early. I like to play tennis, but I'm not a very good player. I don't like spinach, even though I know it's good for me. I'm afraid you're being too particular about your food. He always finds fault with everything. She doesn't like anything I do or say. You have wonderful taste in clothes. What's your favorite pastime? What did you like best about the movie? I didn't like the taste of the medicine, but I took it anyway. Why do you dislike the medicine so much? <laughs>